Another day in Greenwood. The city is full of lowlifers. They're always on the move and never satisfied. I hate them, but in a way I need them. For I am the warden of the jail, the tamer of the lions. I'm the only bringer of justice in this godforsaken city. I mean, 75 cents for a cup of lemonade? Give me a break. Business is slow, but just like a ticking time bomb, it will eventually explode. When she walked in, I could tell she was a vengeful woman. She reminded me of a TV dinner. Hot and sad. Anyone there? Uh, yes. Uh, Joe Potter, PI. Uh, take a seat. Jesse Summers. Uh, what can I do for you today? Well, you see, sir, I was out in Caffeine Town. Caffeine Town? Uh, that's no place for a girl like you. Well, it's the only place where I can get my decaf mocha latte with coconut milk glanced off of an unopened bag of coffee beans with two inches of foam. Which is why I'm here. Someone took my order last night. Ma'am, I, I think you're overreacting. Uh, just order another latte. How dare you, you uncultured swine! No, you may drink your cheap instant coffee, but some of us like the finer things in life. Besides, it starts out with my latte, next it will be my wallet, then my keys, then my... How soon I'll be a homeless nobody living off a spare change from strangers. All because you wouldn't take my case. I looked at her thinking to myself, why do the crazy ones always come to me? I mean, it's just a beverage, what's the point? Then again, it is considered embezzlement and I haven't had a case in months. Also, if I'm not going to do it, who will? All right, what happened? The place was anything but packed. There was music playing and one or two people milling around. I ordered my coffee, the usual, and waited for them to call my name. While I was waiting, I had to use the ladies' room. I got up, then I heard my name. It was too late to just get up and leave, so I went into the bathroom and when I opened the door, I saw this man walk by. And then it was just gone. I'll see what I can do. Caffeine Town, a pitiful collection of mindless hipsters and pretentious self-entitled dimwits writing screenplays. In order to catch a rat, you have to think like one, and that means rummaging through the garbage. What kind of thief just takes somebody's coffee and doesn't finish it? Ugh, decaf. I knew I didn't fit in with the rest of the crowd, so I needed to blend in. Joe Potter, PI, a word? Don't change the subject. What were you doing the night of October 18th? Uh, working here. Of course you were. <laughs> you recognize this girl? Uh, yeah, I've seen her. A bit of a tits if you ask me. She acts like she owns the place. Thanks. I'd like to speak to your manager if you don't mind. He's not in right now. Are you hiding something, miss? Not at all, sugar. Now you gonna order something or what? You're holding up the line. There was no line. This case was shaping up to be bigger than I thought. I had interrogated every lowlife, rat, and crook I could find searching for the answers. Then, 
I had an epiphany. There was one key detail I had overlooked. There was music playing. Music. 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 So what do you think of that, pal? It was an honest... mistake. I thought that these cheapskates would have finally given me something for all my hard work day in and day out. But no. They just expect me to live off. Here. Let me pay you back. Don't bother. Thanks for your honesty. You're, uh... You're a good guy, pal. Gee, thanks. After this whole ordeal, I realized that maybe this town ain't so bad after all. There may always be crud on the streets, but you can bet your behind I'll be here to scrape them up.